I am Anil Kumar and in this series we will try to understand how to solve trigonometric equations. Let's begin with a very simple example. We need to solve 2 cos x plus 1 equals to 0 where x is greater than 0 degrees, greater than or equal to or less than equals to 360 degrees. Now any equation which has trigonometric ratios in it will be treated as a trigonometric equation. Now it is solved like a normal equation. Let's rewrite this equation. It is 2 cos x plus 1 equals to 0. We could take 1 to the other side. That gives us 2 cos x just as we do in different equations. We get minus 1 and dividing by 2 we get cos x equals to minus half. Now to provide the solution we have to always look into the given domain. We need to write all the solutions for cos x equals to minus half when x is between 0 to 360 degrees. Correct? Now 0 to 360 degrees means what? Let's look into the coordinate plane. So when we are saying 0 to 360 degrees, it means uh, one full circle, correct? That is what it means, one full circle. Now, when is cos negative? Well, all trigonometric ratios are positive in quadrant 1. Sine is positive in quadrant 2. Tan is positive in quadrant 3. And cos is positive in quadrant 4. So what I've written here is in which quadrant, which ratio, trigonometric ratio is positive. Now we need to find cos of negative half. That means we are looking into two quadrants in which cos is negative and these are quadrant 2 and quadrant 3. Right? So we are expecting two solutions for this equation. One will lie in quadrant 2, the other one in quadrant 3. Now what value of x will give us half? Let's look into this. So what we really see is we look for an angle alpha in quadrant 1 first. So let's say, let's say this is some angle. We'll call this angle as alpha which will give us cos value of half. So what we'll do here is, we'll find the acute angle alpha for which cosine ratio is half. See, we are not trying to get minus half. We're just trying to get when is cos half. That is kind of strategy. You could always use a calculator and say, well, alpha equals to cos inverse of half. So the angle is cos inverse of half. So 1 divided by 2 equals 2. So you get 60 degrees. So that gives you 60 degrees. So in degrees, that is the angle which gives you alpha value as half. But what you really need is cos alpha as minus half, not half. So what is that angle? Now that angle should be in quadrant 2 or in quadrant 3, right? So, so, what we can do here now is we can construct these angles here. Now, the solution really is that gives us one solution and the other solution is this much. Both will give us cos x as minus half. And what are these solutions? These solutions are for x equals 2. This acute angle is half. That means this is 60 degrees or this is 60 degrees. Do you see that? So, so the principal angle for this position in coordinate 2 will be 180 minus 60. So one of the solution is 180 degrees minus 60 degrees. The other solution is 180 degrees plus 60 degrees. Do you get it? Now that gives you 180 minus 60 as 120 degrees and that gives you 180 plus 60 as 240 degrees. 
So we get two different solutions for cos x equals to minus half, which are correct solutions. You could always, you can use the calculator to check it, right? Since this is the first video, we are taking more time to understand. Let's check it. So let's write down cos of 120. That is equals to minus half, correct? Similarly, cos of 240 is equals to minus half. So both are correct solutions. So that is how we get two solutions from the given equation. If we do not follow this method and we try to get direct answer, that is to say, let me do that also. From here, if we try to get, let us say, cos inverse of minus half, let us say, right? Then let us see what we get. Cos inverse of minus half, shift, cos inverse minus 1 divided by 2, bracket close, equals 2. We get one solution only, which is 120 degrees, correct? We miss out on the second solution. So this technique of directly finding the answer doesn't work. Therefore, my suggestion is always find the acute angle and then relate it with the quadrants as we did here and then write down your answer so we can write down that solution of this equation is x is equals to 120 degrees and 240 degrees now these are possible solutions within the given domain 0 to 360 degrees so always restrict your solutions to all possible solutions within the given domain well at times instead of calculator you can always use special triangles. So let me add that up here. So a triangle which gives you cos of alpha, I mean cos alpha value as half, is a triangle which is 30, 60, 90, right? Now in 30, 60, 90, this is 60 degrees. That is 90 degrees. That is 30 degrees. And the sides are 1, 2 and square root 3. So you could always use special triangles instead of calculator also to find the angle. So from here, we could have got 60 degrees acute angle, which will give us the solution for half. Since we need the value of minus half, we are looking for two angles, one in quadrant two, the other one in quadrant three, just as we did, which we get by adding and subtracting 60 from 180 degrees, correct? So I hope that makes sense. And that is how we'll be doing questions in this particular list. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.